In today's video, we're going to examine the image quality differences between software and hardware ray tracing in Silent Hill 2. So what is ray traced in Silent Hill 2 anyway? Well, we have ray traced reflections and ray traced global illumination. To enable hardware ray tracing, you must set the ray trace setting to on. A bit misleading since even with ray tracing set to off, the game utilizes software Lumen anyway, but I digress, that's how it's set up. Now, as far as the performance cost and whether it's worth it to turn on hardware ray tracing, well, that will depend on the hardware that you have, obviously. For example, for me, I'm using an RTX 4090 and I normally game at 3440 by 1440. And with ray tracing set to off, no DLSS, epic graphical preset, I get around 95 FPS in this area right here. And if I turn hardware ray tracing to on, so right now we have everything maxed out, I get around 70, 75 FPS. So we lost around 20 FPS. Not bad at all. I would totally, as a matter of fact, I am playing the game with the ray tracing enabled. That's also without DLSS though. If I was to set DLSS to quality, that takes us to around 100 FPS. So there is options. And again, it will depend on the hardware that you have. So that's the performance out of the way. Let's focus on image quality. That's kind of the point of this video anyway. Out of reflections and global illumination, I would say that reflections is the one that's the most noticeable right away. Software Lumen, which for the sake of this video, I'll be labeling as RT off does not use very accurate geometry. As a matter of fact, if we look at this reflection here, it looks uh, kind of uh, hit and miss, like you don't really know exactly what's being reflected. But then if we toggle hardware ray tracing on, well, as you can clearly see, it looks much, much better. And it's not just the higher quality geometry that hardware ray tracing utilizes, but with software Lumen, you also have missing detail, like the power lines and other smaller, finer detail. It's not just shiny puddles though, but with the hardware ray tracing, it's also the wet grounds. For example, right now we can see the enemy NPC reflected on the puddle, but as they make their way into the wet ground outside the puddle, you can see their reflection there as well. It's actually very accurate. You can see their legs moving and everything as they lumber their way trying to eat our face. But with Software Lumen, enemy NPCs and moving objects seem to be emitted from reflections completely. As a matter of fact, all you get to see is screen space. So as long as something in the view of the camera, you'll get to see its reflection. Like you can see the feet shown in this puddle, for example. Other than the puddles and the wet ground though, there is many other surfaces that have reflective properties like windows or the cars. If you look at the police car rear window with software Lumen, you can see a bunch of artifacting popping in and out. And that's a result of the lower quality geometry that software Lumen uses. Uh, I think Alex of Digital Foundry called it blobby SDFs. Uh, now, if we go over and swap to hardware ray tracing, which uses high quality geometry for its reflections, well, you don't get that artifacting anymore. Now, to be honest here, the reflective properties of the glass, it's nothing crazy. I mean, I've seen much better in other games, but it does have reflective properties. And as you can see, it is more accurate and it's not artifacting like it was previously. Since we're already looking at this police car with software ray tracing, as James moves in front of the car and away from it, you don't actually see his reflections on the paint or anything like that. And if we were to swap to hardware ray tracing, you can actually see his silhouette on the paint as he moves in and out of it. So it's kind of strange that the reflections are not as detailed when it comes to glass and paint jobs. Maybe it's an artistic choice. Other than reflections though, we have ray traced global illumination, which is the second best RT effect that I personally prefer. And actually you can see it here, especially on the outside areas. The hardware ray tracing side actually does a bit of a better job with the shadows overall. 
it, they're not necessarily perfect, but I do find it to be quite a bit more immersive and adds to the atmosphere. Although Lumen doesn't look bad at all. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> If we examine GI a little bit more closely and turn it off and on, you might say, well, it just looks like ray tracing on is making the image a bit darker, but that's not necessarily true. I mean, in some ways, I guess it is, but it's actually providing more accurate shadows based off the global illumination and hardware ray tracing. For example, if we focus on this scene, we obviously have the sunlight coming from our left side. And if we look at this railing uh, concrete piece here, this is how it looks with software Lumen. Now, if we throw hardware ray tracing on, it doesn't just make everything darker. As a matter of fact, the top side of the concrete where the railing is mounted to is actually brighter and the side is now darker because that's the angle that the sun is coming from and it's that side is being lit while the other side is indirectly lit. Now speaking of shadows, let's take a look at the tree shadows on the wall and the overall light that's being thrown here in our area. So this is with software ray tracing on and if we throw hardware ray tracing, you can see that the tree shadows are definitely a lot more defined and the trees are also casting somewhat of a shadow on the area that we're in. The next one I want to take a look at is around the corner from where we just were because this is a good example of GI and reflections as well because we do actually have reflections on the ground, on the tiles and also on the paint to our left on the wall. So this is software ray tracing right now. And if we throw hardware ray tracing on, as you can see, now we can see the reflection on the wall, the sky is reflected, but also the grounds become a bit more reflective as well. And now the trees are casting a shadow on one another across the fence. It's darker and also a bit better shadowing in the area where we're at at the moment as well, which is kind of nice. Another area I wanted to focus on was the ground in the corner to the left. Where the wall meets the ground, it just seems like there's way too much shadowing there. You wouldn't expect that to really be the case. And it's not until you turn on hardware ray tracing that it kind of stands out that it should look a bit brighter. So it is just little stuff like that that kind of adds to the overall immersion of, uh, you know, how ray tracing can enhance the visual fidelity. Uh, although I've seen better implementation of global illumination with ray tracing, like uh, The Witcher 3, for example. That was a good one. But software lumen is also a form of ray tracing, so maybe that's why it doesn't stand out as much. GI can also impact some indoor areas as well, as long as there's natural light seeping in. Like, for example, if we take a look at this window, with software ray tracing, light seems to be sipping through the window into the windowsill, which doesn't look right. And if we throw hardware ray tracing on, it looks a lot more accurate to the eye. If we look behind the bar in the same area with software ray tracing, if you look to the left, it's dark. But if you turn hardware ray tracing on, it actually takes into account the door that's behind us that's got glass where outside light is sipping in. Let's take a look at one more and our last example of software Lumen actually dropping the ball completely. So as you can see, we have a window, lights coming in, or is it? Well, let's turn on hardware ray tracing. And as you can see, now it properly illuminates the floor and also a lot of the objects around the room already then. So there could very well be a lot of other examples. This is just some that I found that I wanted to show you guys. But where ray tracing doesn't really make much of a difference is inside the very dark areas where you're using a flashlight, which there's a lot of those in this game. So here we're on the other side apartments. Once you cross over to the uh, other realm uh, where it's very creepy, by the way. So this is with software ray tracing. And if we throw hardware ray tracing, 
nothing really changes. It's because there's no uh, natural light or anything like that. The only meaningful differences that you would probably see would be through uh, reflective surfaces, really. Like, for example, we're looking at the other side apartment kitchen here, which is kind of a common type of scene that you can run into. And I've been toggling between hardware and software ray tracing. You can't really tell much of a difference. There is some subtle differences, like if we take a look at the stainless steel sink. This is with software lumen, and if we throw hardware lumen in, you can see the reflection on the stainless steel change. So it's subtle stuff like this. But most of the times in pitch black areas where you're walking around with a torch, you're not going to really see a meaningful difference. So that is just the nature of the game. Believe me, I actually looked at uh, quite a few different areas on the other side and even the Woodside Apartments, uh, some of the darker areas with the torch. It's not really much of a difference. Again, like I said, it has to do with reflective surfaces more than anything. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I do like making these type of videos. It's just that they can take a while to put together and capture footage. And I like to actually look at as many areas as I can. But this game, a lot of it takes place in the dark, at least the area that I'm in. So there wasn't a whole lot more to show. But clearly, hardware ray tracing makes a, a big difference with reflections especially. But even global illumination. And since global illumination doesn't really affect the inside dark areas, well, it doesn't matter as much there but what do you guys think leave a comment down below let me know what you think and uh give the video a like i'd really appreciate it if you did and consider subscribing if you want to see similar content i do appreciate you watching though and i'll see you in the next one. Oh, follow me on twitter by the way at terraware pc thanks for watching bye bye